Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm getting together with Cricut to bring you three quick and easy back to school DIY ideas, two of which would make for a great gift idea for your student's new teacher this year, or even a Christmas gift for your student's teacher. I'm excited to be bringing you these DIYs using the Cricut because the Cricut is hands down absolutely one of my favorite crafting tools to use because there are so many DIYs that you can do using it. Endless DIYs that you can do using it. So for now, I'm going to quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you three super quick and easy DIYs that have an amazing outcome that I think you're absolutely going to love. Let's get to it. Alrighty, getting started with this first fun DIY. This is one any teacher is guaranteed to love. For this first DIY, you're going to need two of these plaques that you can get at Dollar Tree and this shape is a must. What's great is on the back side, you've got a blank canvas so you don't have to worry about covering up the design on the other side. I'm going to start off by using this yellow paint by Craftsmart. This is one that I got at Michael's, I believe. Yeah, Craftsmart is Michael's. I gave one of the plaques a good coating of this yellow paint then taking some painter's tape, I'm going to place some here and here, just like so. Yeah, this is about three inches down from the bottom of the plaque. Up from the bottom of the plaque, yeah. So you see how I did it. For this bottom section of the plaque, which is going to be a pencil, I'm going to go in with some of Hello Hobbies chalk paint in the color of fresh linen. This is the paint that has taken the place of Waverly paint at some of the Walmarts. I'm going to give this a good couple coats of that because this is going to be that wood part of our pencil. What's great about using painter's tape is you're going to get a nice, clean, perfect line. On this end here, for the eraser, I'm going to use this pink, again, using some Craft Smart acrylic paint. This is all paint that I had in my stash because guess why? I'm out of the Waverly. And once it's dry, wait for it. Yes, isn't this so satisfying when you peel away that tape and you've got a nice, clean line? You might get a little bit of bleedage. If you do, just go back in with your yellow paint and clean up the lines just a bit. I'm not real worried about it. I am, however, going to go in with that fresh linen again, and I'm just gonna freehand some half circles because we gotta make this look realistic, right? When you sharpen a pencil, it's got this look to it on the wood, and so we gotta add that. Now, remember I said there were two plaques? Yes, with this plaque, before I painted it this color red, I did go in with some spackling and fill in those holes because we don't want holes in our plaque. Because this is an acrylic paint, it's gonna take a couple of coats to get the coverage that I'm happy with. Moving on to the fun part where we use our Cricuts. Here in Cricut Design Space, I'm on a blank canvas. I'm gonna search images. Cricut Design Space has, you see that, over 150,000 Cricut images for you to choose from. I'm going to look for a crayon because with the red plaque, I want to make it look like a crayon. So scrolling through the images, I'm going to scroll through until I find one that has the embellishments that are going to work for me. Or one that I can alter to work for me. These here are the crayons I am settling on, so I'm going to click on it and insert it into my canvas. This is one that I am subscribed to, so it's free for me to use. Once it's on my canvas, I can size it to whatever size I want, but what I don't need is all the colors that go with it. So going off to the side here, if you click on the eye, it will take away the parts that you don't need. Now with this, I only need one crayon. So I'm going to slice some pieces off and to do that if I go to the shapes portion on the sidebar here I take a shape out I place it over the areas of the crayons that I don't need then I highlight it all together I can then go down to the bottom I can click slice and it is going to remove these pieces from the one crayon that is left on the end here slicing tool is an amazing tool 
I'm not done yet because I, like I said, I only need one crayon. So I am going to continue to do this process until I have removed all of the crayons that I don't need. And I'm really just going for the center crayon here. And so with this crayon, obviously, because I'm going to be putting this vinyl on a plaque, a larger plaque, I do need to resize this, but I want it to be proportionate with the plaque. And so again, I'm gonna go ahead and slice the pieces off so I can size them to my plaque. Now, this may seem a little bit confusing, but I promise you it's not. The slicing tool is hands down one of my favorite tools to use because it allows you the capability of using the parts you need and resizing the parts that you need as well. I thought instead of adding the crayon color to the center of this crayon, I would add the teacher's name. I thought that would be cute. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on text. It's gonna bring up a text box. I'm gonna type out the teacher's name, Mrs. Smith here, and I'm gonna choose the font that I want. You get tons of free fonts with your subscription in Cricut Design Space. So there really is no need for those old cartridges anymore. You just pick one that you like and you use it. Now I need to punch Miss Smith out of the center of this crayon insert, I guess. And so to do that again, I put her name in the center. I highlight the box and I'm gonna go ahead and click slice. And this is going to actually slice her name out of the center. Isn't that cool? I love the way that works. I'm gonna go ahead and discard the words and the letters themselves because it's going to cut it out of the center of the crayon here. The vinyl that I'm gonna be adding for the pencil is the teacher's room number. Typically, a pencil will say a number two pencil, and so I thought it'd be cute to add the teacher's room number. I think I'm good. I'm happy with this. I'm ready to go ahead and start cutting some vinyl for this. The vinyl that I'm using today is this premium vinyl by Cricut. This is a gloss vinyl. I've gone ahead and cut it to size, and I'm gonna place my vinyl on my mat I'm using the blue mat because it is a lighter grit mat and I feel like it makes it easier to take the vinyl off once it's cut. I'm gonna open up my Cricut Air 2. Isn't it so pretty? I just love this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on here at the top. You'll see the silver button at the top. It needs to be on vinyl. Sorry I didn't show you that. I'm gonna load my mat. Once my mat is loaded, you'll see the C is blinking and it is ready to cut. So let me take a quick second just to tell you about some of the features the Cricut Explorer has. It has so many great features. You'll have everything you need to become the ultimate DIY maker, which is awesome. The Cricut Explorer Air can actually cut a hundred different materials. Everything from cardstock, vinyl, leather, iron-on, to special materials like glitter paper, if that's your thing, cork, and bonded fabric. It connects to your devices, so if you have an iPad, a laptop, a mobile, or even a desktop, it connects effortlessly through Bluetooth or a wired plug. And it's even compatible with some of those older cartridges that you might still have from one of the first Cricut Explorers. Hands down, the Cricut is by far my favorite crafting tool to use because there are endless possibilities and endless DIYs when doing it. It is an amazing machine. When storing my mats, I like to keep the clear plastic film because you're gonna get more life out of your mat because it's gonna stay sticky longer because it's gonna keep it free of lint. My vinyl is cut, so let's weed this. You can see that using Cricut's premium vinyl, it's super easy to weed. There's nothing fancy about doing this. I'm just gonna go for it. Once I've got it weeded, I'm gonna go ahead and take some transfer tape. And transfer tape is a must because this is how we're gonna get the vinyl off of the paper to put it onto our, yes, our DIY. Oh my word, yes, I did. I cut my vinyl a bit too short. Not sure how I did this. Isn't the saying measure twice, cut once? I did that. And yet I still messed up, but that's okay. It's an easy fix because I'm not gonna waste my vinyl. It's nothing a little paint won't fix. Since there are two sides to this crayon, we're gonna repeat the process with all of the pieces of our vinyl that we cut using mm -hmm, the Cricut Explorer Air 2. It's a great machine, have I told you that? And look there, 
there we have just made a crayon out of a plaque and some vinyl using Cricut Design Space isn't this cool I love this but wait we're not done let me show you what I do with the pencil with this one I'm just simply going to add the room number to the center of the pencil since I had some silver glitter vinyl I decided just to cut a strip out just to place between the eraser and the pencil itself because what is that called? You know, the silver thing that's on every pencil that holds the eraser. This is gonna work perfect for it. Taking some of this decorative nautical rope, this is what I'm gonna use to attach the pencil and the crayon together. So you can hang it from a wall or a doorknob of a teacher's classroom if you'd like, you choose. So just by tying the knot at the end of the rope, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the rope just to kind of give it that frayed look. And when I cut this, I'm gonna cut it right at the base of the knot there, just like so. And I'm gonna do two of these because we need obviously one for the pencil and one for the crayon. And to give the illusion that this rope is going through the plaque, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue the knot onto the front there in the center and I'm going to do that to both the pencil and the crayon yes because we're going to attach the rope to the back of these plaques again giving it the illusion that the rope is coming through the plaques and tied isn't that a cool little hack trick yes easy peasy and look there how fun is this piece? So budget friendly and easy to do using your Cricut, vinyl, and some plaques. Moving on to the super quick and easy DIY number two, it doesn't get any easier than this. Now for this next one, all you're gonna need is a clipboard. Dollar Tree has these, Walmart has these. Today I'm gonna spray paint it because you can get a can of spray paint at Walmart for 98 cents, so why not do that? It's gonna be quicker, easier, then I went ahead and went into Cricut Design Space. Under images, I searched for teacher and I found this cute teacher fuel with the apple. I thought that this was the perfect little saying to put on this clipboard so Allie can gift this to her teacher on the first day of school. Granted, Allie is doing online this year, but we're still gonna drop a gift off to her teacher, thanking her for her dedication for doing distance learning again this year. This clipboard is way too plain on its own, so just by adding some gingham to it, maybe a bow on the clip itself, and maybe outlining the board itself, I think it was the perfect finishing touch to it. I am loving the look of this clipboard. I think it's quick, it's easy, and what a fun gift to give a teacher. Moving on to the final DIY today. This one is so quick and easy, it doesn't get any quicker than this. Although Allie is doing distance learning again this year, we still prepared for school the same way that we did any other year. She's got to be organized. She's got a desk in her room. So on her desk, she's got a pencil box. How fun is it just to add her name to a pencil box? This is great for kids that are doing in-person school to put at their desk. Quick, easy, budget-friendly ways of just personalizing it and making their school supplies a bit more fun. I told you, quick and easy is the name of these DIYs. I am loving the pencil and crayon. I think that that is such a fun piece. Like I said, that a teacher can hang from a wall or even hang on the door handle of their classroom. So fun, and what teacher wouldn't love to receive those gifts that they could use over and over throughout the years? I love those, and the clipboard, it doesn't get any more farmhouse than that. You gotta incorporate a little bit of farmhouse into those gifts that you're giving to your teachers. I hope you all enjoyed these three super quick and easy DIYs using a Cricut and vinyl. I love working with Cricut and I love working with vinyl. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and you know what else I'm gonna say? Stay positive and bye for now, everybody.